No, no, you can't. It's no. It takes over. It completely uh -huh. takes over. You're married to a delightful man who's been on this show many times. Yes. Um, and, and Jim, of course, he, Carson, as we know from from, uh, from Downton. Well, oh, there's yeah. your beautiful daughter as well. Yeah, that was ah. her theatrical debut, that Gosh, photograph. So she, well, inevitably. Well, Inevitably yeah. has fallen in your footsteps. Of course she has. Look at the size of her. <laughs> Five foot nine. I mean, look at the size of him. I know. <laughs> look at me. I'm just. I'm going to be about three foot eight, aren't I, in about <laughs> another ten years. It's really good. Yeah, I won't be able to... My Gosh. feet won't, really won't reach this floor. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a Downton movie? And if there was, would you like a part in it? I don't know and right. no. Would you not? Well... No, they've got good. The, no, they've got their own. Yeah, Downton is all those people. Uh, you yeah. don't want any new characters. You want all the house. You want the house people. Okay. I, I I like it when it's just downstairs and upstairs, and it's all the family and the and the staff who are there. In the unlikely event you were, would you be upstairs or downstairs? Because I would be downstairs. You'd be downstairs, definitely. Uh, I flatter myself. I think I could be up or down, but I think I'd be down. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's yeah. A bit, that's, yeah I, think we'd, I think we would all be. It's great. Yeah. I loved when you went to the Oscars, you took sandwiches with you. You took sandwiches oh. in the car, so just in case you couldn't get anything to eat. Well, yeah, it's a long night. Yeah, and, um, a long night. And also, you know, our best, our daughter was with us, and I thought, well, I can't have her being hungry, and and I can't, I can't. Such a mum thing. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. And also, I thought, well, no, if it is a long night and I get hungry, you you get grumpy when you're hungry, don't mm -hmm. you? You do. And I thought, I can't be there and be grumpy. Um, and um, and it's, it's hour upon hour, and it's, it was two hours on the red carpet. Uh, Two hours yeah. in Eldon. Goodness me! Yeah. So it's a long, long time. That's a so slog. I thought that I have is. to. I have no, to you've been absolutely right. But you didn't eat through the ceremony because you're like me. You do not like people eating in the theatres or the cinema. Oh. Especially the theatre. Well, I suppose I. Crunchy I, I, things, unwrapping sweeties. It's the paper. Mobile phones. No. It's the paper. But I mean, I think it's to do with you know if you're coming, being able to concentrate on one thing. Uh, one time, mm -hmm. I think, well, I'll have some my dinner and then I'll go to the theatre. And I suppose I find it, I mean, uh, you know, they sort of think we can't hear them. Yeah. And of course, you can hear paper rattling and stuff. And I just, I mean, I, I, I think I find it more what if, if I'm in the audience. Oh, Jason, probably not on, not on stage. Drives probably. Can, me crazy. Yes, and I just... It really irritates And me. I think it, what does it sh say about, you know, what you're feeling about the people around you? It doesn't matter about the people around me. I'll just eat what I'll do, I'll do what eat, I want to and do. And I'll just and be I, on my phone. It's just concern, I think, and thoughtfulness about the people around you and exactly. um, to take them into consideration, I think, really. I couldn't agree with you more. And will they stop selling noisy food anyway? Yeah, and it's the, as you said, it's the packaging. You think, what? No, why? I why have you unwrapped the sweeties? And the thing is, they try to unwrap them really slowly, <laughs> and that's even worse. You just like, unwrap it really fast. Yeah, really fast. And just, <laughs> just don't do it. Just, yes, I know. Oh, it's, it's, it's an odd mad, thing. Mad, mad, mm. mad. But I'll tell you what. With this film yeah. and lots of the roles that you do, you really have bucked the trend in the fact that movies aren't. You know, older women or more mature women, women in their prime, are not supposed to still be working, and nothing could be further from the truth. We're getting better. I think. I think it's changing. It can't go back. No, it won't. It, it can't now, no. and uh, and I think you know, Marigold Hotel, yeah, those sort of, yeah, yeah, uh, films yeah. like that, and and our film, which I think is you know will have a, a wider audience because it's you know it's funny as well. It I mean funny. that you know that's There's a lot of humour. Tim Spall, you know, hilarious. Um, but I think having p older people's stories. I mean, you know, we go to the cinema too, but I think it's also a film. You know, twenties, thirties, forties. I think because it's it's universal. The subject mm -hmm. matter is universal. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it also doesn't. Uh, send anything up no. or, or very honest it is honest i yeah, think yeah it is really and, and honest. treats difficult subjects with i think great respect and uh, and then you get you get a load of dancing thrown in <laughs> just for the hell of oh, it oh it sounds great so february the 23rd 23rd, 23rd. Yeah, 23rd of 